A newly sworn in congresswoman going viral with an ad explaining why she's carrying her gun to her new job on Capitol Hill. Even though I now work in one of the most liberal cities in America, I refuse to give up my rights. I will carry my firearm in D.C. and in Congress. And that Congresswoman, Lauren uh, Boebert of Colorado, joins us right now. Congresswoman, are you surprised by the uproar of your goal to carry this gun uh, to the Capitol? You know, it's very interesting that here in the United States of America that there is so much controversy over our Second Amendment rights. Uh, it's right there in our Constitution. It's, a, it's an amendment to our Constitution, and uh, there's an absolute uproar over people wanting to defend myself. I mean, come on, I'm five foot zero, 100 pounds. I am now in one of the most dangerous cities in America. Uh, the violent crime right here is 158% times higher than the national average. I will be walking alone a lot, uh, just like I say in my ad, being a member of Congress is pretty basic. I don't, I don't go to work in an armored vehicle. I don't have personal police escorts. I am my own security here, and my most basic right is the right to defend myself. Surely, and and while D.C. may have a uh, a violence problem, uh, no doubt about it. Uh, they also have a lot, as you know, Congresswoman, uh, very strict gun laws on the books there. And yesterday, the Metro Police uh, Chief, Robert Conti, had an observation about you wanting to take your gun to work. Listen to this. We plan to reach out to the Congresswoman's uh, office to make sure that she is aware of what the laws of the District of Columbia are, what the restrictions are, and uh, that Congresswoman, uh, wh whoever it is, I guess it was from Colorado, uh, you know, will be subjected to the same penalties for anyone else uh, that's caught on the District of Columbia Street uh, carrying a firearm. Okay, uh, as I understand it, members of Congress are allowed to carry their guns on the Capitol campus, but they cannot have them on the floor. But when you're outside of the congressional campus, it, when you're in D.C., that is when the chief says you're going to have some problem with him. I think that's very interesting. Yesterday was the newly appointed chief of police very first day on the job. He was just appointed on Saturday and that's his first order of business is to come after a 34-year-old uh, woman who wants to protect herself in uh, this dangerous city uh, here at, at our nation's capital. I have gone through the concealed carry courses that Washington DC uh, uh, requires to obtain a concealed carry permit and I think it's very interesting that he wants to ensure that I understand Washington DC's firearm laws. Maybe I should make a video uh, announcing that I plan to drive a car in Washington DC and then the chief of police will say that he's going to inform me of Washington DC's traffic laws. Is this what he does to everyone who comes into into the District of Columbia inform each and every person Congress of their laws? I don't think so. Will you apply for will you talk to the chief and see if you could get a concealed carry permit for DC? I, uh, this is already being processed. Uh, this is a shall issue permit, and uh, this is something that there's no question that uh, uh, that I will have and be able to carry here in Washington D.C. Uh, so this is this is something that I am uh, well uh, well ahead on. So I wanted to ask you about a topic that we just covered in the last block about um, or two blocks ago about Nancy Pelosi. She you talked about the chief of police. That was his first agenda. Her first agenda was changing the. Uh, changing some of the words to gender neutral words, gender neutral terms like mother. You're a mother. You said you're a mother yes. of four. We a called you a congresswoman. Uh, are you proud to be a congresswoman or would, should we call you a congress member? I am very proud to be a congresswoman and even Speaker Nancy Pelosi referred to herself as a mother uh, yeah. on the House floor just a couple of days ago. So uh, in typical Speaker Nancy Pelosi fashion, she's not adhering to her own rules. Yeah, so by the way, though, just to show up there, people listening on the radio, it is absolutely comical, but it's your new reality. You don't say mother or father, you don't say aunt and uncle. Uh, you have to make everything gender neutral. So that's her focus. Parent well, and parent siblings. Oh, my goodness. Right. Uh, so let's but talk we about can say amen and a woman, even though amen has nothing to do with right. gender. It means so be it. What but what about a children? Where, where are the children in this? Aren't they included? No, I don't think so. We're going to work on that a little bit later. Uh, let's talk about something else that's going to be happening tomorrow. And that is uh, you are going to join uh, over 100 Congress people. Uh, Congress members, members Congress. Congressmen. Uh, congressmen and men and women, and you're going to object to the Electoral College results. 
Is that Colorado's results or the overall total? No, I am rejecting to uh, to certain states that did not behave properly, that did not follow their own state constitutions and Article 2, Section 1, uh, Clause 2 in the federal constitution uh, lines out that uh, that states need to, to follow these these uh, their own state constitutions. And we have rogue secretaries of state, attorneys generals, governors who have gone against the Republican state legislatures, Democrats uh, just went around these state legislatures and changed these states' laws. So there are certain states that I will object to, and uh, that is my obligation. I swore an oath to support and, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So when we count these electoral votes, I will not be accepting the counting of states that did not follow their state constitution, which in turn made it unconstitutional in total. Which states are those? Uh, there are several. Uh, there are at least six uh, that I am objecting to. Okay. Uh, we're looking at Georgia, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, Arizona, and Nevada. All right. Good at enough. Least. Uh, we'll be watching for that tomorrow. And thanks for joining us today, Congresswoman. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. God bless America. Just a programming.